What up guys, Real Touch GML here and today I have our first Java tutorial. Today we will be installing all the software necessary to actually code uh, <clears throat> um, Java. So I will supply a link in the description and uh, you'll get to this site right here. And you see we want to uh, install the Java SE development kit, uh, standard edition, and then uh, your platform that you're on so I'm on Windows so I would just download the Windows uh, right here so after you've got that installed uh, what you're gonna do is um, just completely install it, all the default settings um, and you're gonna go over here to your start computer your local disk and then uh, program files and you'll go down and you'll see you'll have a folder named Java Go to Java and you have this folder JDK 1.7 point. It might be a little different numbers, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, click on that and then bin. And then you see you got all these uh, applications here. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on one of them, go to properties. You're going to go to, uh, no, right here, location. So you see this location right here? You're just going to highlight that. You're going to copy it. Um, and you're done with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the start. You're going to right click on the computer. Properties. Let the properties come up. Go to advanced system settings. Let that load up. And then you're going to go to environment variables right here. Okay. And once you're at environment variables, you're going to click new. Variable name. Path. Variable value. And you're, you're just going to uh, paste that link right in there. So once you got that, you should be good. If you want to go ahead and test out if that should be good, uh, you're going to go to your start and just type in CMD and type in Java C. And if all this stuff comes up, that means you did it correctly. If not, go ahead and look back at this tutorial. So now we're going to just go ahead and download Eclipse. And I have supplied a link in the description for that too. It'll bring you to here. And you're going to want to download Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers going uh, 32 or 64 bit and once you got that all installed you should get this Eclipse so if that was a little fast go ahead and uh, look back on the tutorial uh, go ahead leave a like go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys uh, with your first gaming Java tutorial next time